स्टार स्कीमा एंड एक्सटेंडेड स्टार स्कीमा इन ए क्यूब वी हैव अ फैक्ट टेबल्स एंड डायमेंशन टेबल फॉर एनी क्यूब इफ यू क्रिएटेड द फैक्ट देर विल बी फैक्ट टेबल एंड डायमेंशन टेबल द डायमेंशन टेबल विल बी सराउंडेड बाय द फैक्ट टेबल राइट इन अ स्टार स्कीमा मास्टर टेबल विल बी द डायमेंशन टेबल and transaction table will be the fact table so this is the setup in our start schema so always the dimension table will have the master data the information the like the material master or customer master or something like that and you have a vendor master you can take it like this any kind of master data information which will be allowed into the dimension tables when you come to the fact table it contains the transaction data about this particular entity okay so this is a how it happens in a star schema so what is the disadvantages in a star schema it's a limited limited analysis the due to due to a 16 characteristics no reuse of master data alpha numeric values are stored as alpha numeric values itself in a fact table so it will be degraded in the performance right and the fact table can hold only 16 characteristics out of which the three is a reserved for data package time and unit in short we can have only 13 dimension possible in a star schema as a master data is used inside the queue so we cannot reuse this master data and master data is stored as a like m01 or customer as a c01 or something like that so the fact table must hold all for numeric values which will completely it completely degrade your performance of your info queue so these are the disadvantages of your star schema when it come to extended star schema we have a intermediate table between the master data table and the dimension table which is known as a surrogate table so if you take a dimension table here we have a vendor master so this is a vendor id so this vendor id in between the dimension tables what happens is you have a another table called surrogate table so in this two dimensions in between you have a surrogate table so if you observe this this surrogate tables are outside your queue so the data will be storing outside your queue okay so what are the dimensions and key figures it has it has around 250 columns possible for every sap table six column reserved for sap 249 remaining one column for dimension id 248 column remaining 248 into 248 into 13 dimension is possible this is as per the dimension calculations come back to the key figures we can have around 255 columns possible in a key figures and six reserved for sap and remaining 249 16 for dimensions remaining 233 and 233 key figures are possible this is an advantage of your extended star schema when we can have 248 into 13 dimensions thus we are overcoming the limitation of dimension in star schema the master data is placed outside the cube so it can be reused anytime anywhere we don't have any alpha numeric characters inside the cube which will improve your performance drastically of your info cube and if you observe here this is a fact table and uh, surrounded by the dimension tables which is the dimension table has been connected to sid tables here the all the dimensions are connected to sid tables and sid tables connected to the text tables okay so this figure shows that more dimensions are mo more master data so right the facts in the fact tables are referred to as a key figures okay so and the dimension attributes known as a characteristics the dimension tables are linked with central fact table by the way of key relationship in contrast to the classic star schema characteristics are not components of the dimension table in other words you can say that the characteristics values are not stored in the dimension table 
a numerical SID key is generated for each and every characteristics and this alias key replaces the characteristics as a component of dimension table here SID stands for master data ID or you can say surrogated ID right in the master data bearing the characteristic info object figure these these keys are given the prefix SID underscore for example if you take a cost center it will be like shows SID underscore cost center cost underscore center is the SID key for the characteristic cost center the dimension table has a generated numerical primary key called the dimension key the dimension tables are denoted with the prefix dim underscore ID underscore so for example if you take a cost center for the dimension table it says that dim underscore ID underscore cost center is a dimension key for the cost center dimension as a class as in the classic star schema the primary key of the fact table is made up with the dimension keys it's one special aspect of master data is that is shared with all info cubes that have associated a characteristic info object as a part of the dimension this was made possibly by removal of the master data from your dimension tables using SID technology we are completely removing those master data information from your dimension table and keeping outside of your info cube if it has the same related uh, key info object is available in the master data this can be reconnected to any info cube which has a related master data info object so here it's a sharing it's it's sharing the link with all the info cubes that have associated characteristic info object as a part of the dimension right the result is that you used to you use the master data with the different bi info cubes like uh, in other words the master data is the info cube independent and can be used by several queries of several different info cubes at the same time this is what exactly here i'm explaining in this figure hope uh, you got the clear picture about uh, what is the difference in between the star schema and extended star schema how this extended star schema using SID technology to keep the master data information outside your info cube and outside your dimension table from your info cube which will be help you to reuse anywhere in your uh, uh, available all info cubes. Thank you.